Hey everybody, just wanted to go over a project that I've already got in progress. This is the EV664 microphone. This microphone was originally produced in the 50s and I think production continued into the 60s. Not 100% sure on that, so correct me if I'm wrong, please. But as you can see, this thing has seen better days. There's a few things going on and I should have filmed the teardown. I'll explain what I've done so far. First of all, there's some sort of rubber in the hinge that has perished and I need to come up with a solution to that so it will hold itself into place. But more importantly, this microphone has experienced a bit of a hack job. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to reverse that. For whatever reason, the switch was bypassed. I've done continuity checks on the switch. It operates fine. So what I'm going to try to do is go ahead and wire this back to its original configuration and see what we can come up with. The issue with this microphone was that there was a buzzing noise when you touch the body of it. There was either a grounding issue or perhaps there's a missing capacitor. There's conflicting diagrams that show different things. So some of these had a filter in them, as you can see in that diagram. Between the green and the red, there was a capacitor and a coil. But that doesn't exist here. So I'm going to go ahead and solder up the switch as it should be in its original configuration and see how it operates. And what I'll do is I'll probably split this down into bite-sized videos I don't want to change the appearance of the microphone too much. I want to keep the original patina. What I'm thinking about doing, I mean, it needs cleaned up. There's gaffers tape residue on it. So definitely clean it up with some goof off. Maybe take a little bit of uh, double lot steel wool to it. The windscreen's dented up pretty good. I'll straighten that out as well. But uh, let me get down to the business of soldering and we'll do a quick test once that's complete. All right, we're back. Everything's reassembled. This thing was giving me major, major fits. I thought there was something that I did when I soldered everything back together. As it turns out, the mic cable is failing. So we're going to have to get a new XLR cable to solder to the end, and that should take care of that. But in the meantime, we have a working microphone. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. There's that bad cable. Check one, two. As you can see, the switch is back in the circuit and is functioning when the cable allows it to. It looks like we've got a working EV664 again. If you enjoy this kind of content, let me know in the comment section. We'll catch you on down the road.